Hi, this is Les Hasbargen. This tutorial shows you how to extract a topographic profile uh, for the construction of a geologic cross section. So we will start with uh, map data in a GIS. And you can see that uh, it's all been colored here. Um, contacts are present, strikes or dips are there. Um, so we want to extract topography along this line. And what you do is to use the digitizer tool, which is the pencil tool in Global Mapper. You select that line, you right click, and you generate a path profile. And so this is what the path profile looks like. Um, nothing very fancy about it. We want to export it. So we will f save this as a CSV file. And this will be any name you want for it. Uh, and that's how you extract it. So now we would like to bring that into uh, uh, Excel. So we go to Excel, we navigate to the file we just saved open it up and what we need are our easting northing data. I'll just move that over first. And we want to put that into there. And then we want our Elevation data, we need that. So. And we'll move that into here. And we need the distance total. And to get to that, there's a couple options here when it writes it out from Global Mapper. Notice that this distance doesn't increase, that's just the space in between points. We want this one. And we will put that into there. So now to generate a topographic profile, you highlight two columns. You go to Insert, and we want a scatter plot that has a line. And there's the diagram. So now it's just a matter of uh, controlling the properties of your diagram, naming it, labeling axes, and setting the scale so it's one to one and all that you can do with double-clicking various features in the chart. And this concludes the tutorial to develop topographic profile for a geologic cross-section.